Hello, this is Dan Frio again. I wanted to go over today what a 203k loan is. I get a lot of phone calls, uh, especially right now, and it is December 2014. A lot of people are looking to buy homes, um, kind of cheaper homes, Not, I don't want to say cheap, more cost efficient homes, I guess I'll say. Um, but a lot of them need some work. And so basically a lot of these loans have to go the route of a 203k loan. And the reason why is if you go to buy a home and it has uh, some, some damage to it, such as the roof is leaking, you have um, you know, uh, peeling paint, believe it or not, just peeling paint would cause you not to be able to buy a property because they're going to deem that deferred maintenance. So I want to go over today um, the why, what, and how of FHA 203k loans. So basically, here's the guidelines of what a 203k loan is. You can purchase a house through this program. Uh, there's worksheets that we do that it that'll calculate the loan amounts and things like that. But basically, here's here's the uh, the gist of that. The house has to appraise for at least what you're buying it for plus the rehab money. So for example, you're buying a $100,000 home, it needs $20,000 worth of work. The after value, as after it gets rehabbed or remodeled or you know cosmetically done, has to be worth at least $120,000. So that's one of the first things. But here's the, here's the basic criteria. You need a 620 credit score. Um, disregard the high balance that's in uh, specific states like um, California and those, those areas, but we're talking about Illinois. Um, so basically, we, you need a 620 credit score. Um, your debt ratios, I'll run you through the Fannie Mae's website and get it approved. Um, and you can go up to a 55% debt ratio. So those are the basic criterias of qualifying. Now let's get down to the nitty gritty of what you can or can't do in regards to this loan. So basically we'll go down here and here's a list and you can take a snapshot or pause this video and looking at the things that you can do. The things you cannot do are major items to the home that, that's uh, changing the structure, meaning you put, can't put additions on. Um, you can finish a basement. You can replace your roof. Believe it or not, you can buy appliances. Basically, you can't put on additions or if there's structural damage to the home, um, you know, it's about ready to fall down. You can't do that kind of loan. This is an FHA 203k loan streamline. So that's the, the criteria behind this. So um, again, why you would need it, it's a house that needs some TLC that will not pass the FHA appraisal process or an appraisal process. What is it? You can get up to $35,000 to do this work, this listed right here. This is basically, you know, what it breaks down to is what you can do. How you do it, call me. Um, you can apply online at 1160mortgage.com. Hit apply now. You, it's 100% uh, secure. It'll populate and send it right to me an alert. And it'll, it'll already populate in my system so I can look at um, your scenario. Best yet is call me because the, the, here's where a lot of people get stuck in this process. We, you, you, buy, you go to put a house under contract with a 203k loan. Now it goes back, the, the biggest part of this falls back into your lap. We need to get contractor bids to do this work. Um, and that's where a lot of people kind of drop the ball, I'll say. You can do some minor things yourself, but the easiest way to go about this is to get a contractor involved. It does not have to be a HUD contractor or specific to the bank or myself. You can pick this person yourself. Um, we need a detailed bid. It means it needs to break down everything they're going to do. If they're going to paint, we need to know what kind of paint and how much. That's how detailed it's got to be. And a lot of people drop the ball at that point. They'll say, I'm painting for $500. What are you doing? What are you using? And those are the things that we need. You're buying some appliances. What are they? Is a refrigerator 1200 bucks? What kind is it? Make model, you know. And there's also some benefits there. It might be, um, it might get you some credits, some lender credits if it's specific items, energy efficient items. Um, so the best way to do this is, you know, one, don't lose a sale. 
realtors and consumers. Don't you like this home? You really like it, but it doesn't pass the appraisal process because of deferred maintenance. Let me know. I can help you get into this. So if I could be of help, please call 630-338-1160. Visit us on the web at 1160mortgage.com. Thank you. God bless. Have a great day.